Good morning. This is uh, Lord Brindley here. Hope everybody's well. Welcome this Sunday morning. Grey skies. Another Sunday morning grey sky. Oh, it's a bit of blue there. Not today. Uh, we're constructing uh, some Armco barrier. So we're using um, this is a box beam. and the box beam has been concreted in the ground and then we're using these uh, what, are you, what I call crinkle crash barriers and we're just attaching those to the box beam it makes a very very substantial barrier quite uh, quite a nice looking um, construction and it's uh, quite uh, quite strong. We'll chop the uh, tops off to make them flush with the top of the barriers later on when we've finished. So, so we've got um, <clears throat> welder we're using um, an art welder here. That's what I prefer to use. And uh, here's one of the barriers here, lay on the floor. And we're going to secure it in place with uh, some G clamps and a uh, ratchet strap. Join me in a little while when we get one set up. So it's pretty straightforward. We use a ratchet strap this end to uh, clamp it. These crinkle barriers have been used once before. That's better. These crinkle barriers have been used once before, so they've already had a life. They've uh, been on the motorway somewhere. Goodness knows where. This one's had a bit of sand on it. Never, never mind about that. Ratchet strap one end, nice and secure. Get that ground off now. I think that'll still be okay. <laughs> Lols. Um, clamp the other end, so we'll just get it welded in place, fixed in place, and then uh, put some nice uh, runs of weld on it.
it's not a bad weld. Yeah, that's not, that isn't going anywhere now. So plenty of amps, uh, easy peasy. All you need to do is get nice and firm, grind off the, um, this is, it's uh, coated galvanized, uh, it's galvanized steel. So you need to get the, get back to the steel and um, I'd say plenty of amps, nice and tight, good earth. And um, one thing to, um, one thing to, to mention is um, if you use an extension lead, uh, then make sure that you uh, unreel the, uh, the the lead all the way because um, if you leave it in a coil, it will heat up when you're welding and then set on fire, and you, that's uh, something to be avoided. So there we go. We'll just carry on with this. A little bit brighter now. Thank goodness. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one.